Welcome back everyone, I'm Matthew Gore and it's already December 17th. Let's see what kind of ink we get today behind door number 17. Ah, nice. This looks like an orange or yellow ink called Flame, and it's a standard ink. If I tilt this bottle to catch the light, you can see that the ink is pretty transparent. This time, I'm going to swatch the ink on my Color Ring, on Rhodia, and on Ivory Midori paper. As we suspected, this ink is a nice vibrant orange. Looks like a pretty even medium orange at this point, but we'll see what happens as it dries. Now that it's mostly dry, it still seems like a good solid orange. No crazy shading, but there's just enough to give it some depth. Here's the color ring and the rhodia a little closer. And here's the color ring with the Midori. It looks gorgeous on the Midori. We also had a bright orange in the Inkvent calendar last year. That one was Wonderland, and it's a little more yellow a bit like Diamine Amber. FPR Tangerine Dream is pretty similar to Flame though. It's also nice and bright, and parts of Apache Sunset are also similar to Flame, although its base is more yellow. Diamine Pumpkin is similarly even toned, but it's a bit more red. Bright oranges like these always make me think of the time that I've spent in India. So I decided to try to paint a little Indian scene with only this flame orange ink. I ended up getting a lot of really beautiful different values from this ink, which worked out well. Although the painting itself is impressionistic enough that it could be just about anywhere in the world. Anyway, I did my writing sample on Cosmo Air Snow and on Midori. On the Cosmo, I got a good amount of shading, but the color was a little dull, so I switched over to the Midori. On the Midori, the color was better, but there was significantly less shading. But there was still some with the broad nib. When I switched to a medium platinum nib, which is a little drier, the ink looked pretty unexceptional, but certainly not bad. Orange is another ink color that I find to be really pretty sometimes, but I almost never think to put it in a pen and write with it. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you're all enjoying the holiday hustle and bustle, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, and I hope I'll see you back here again tomorrow for another new bottle of ink.